How's it going everybody? This is Josh, KI6NAZ, and today we're going to be talking about the Chameleon MCOM2. This is a NFED antenna that you can deploy in a portable situation or a permanent situation as this is waterproof. This is a simple designed antenna that is quite effective and we're going to talk about it right now. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, and I am gonna be giving away two of these antennas, and I'm gonna give you more of those details as we get further along in the video. Also, click that bell so I can send you my videos every time I post a new one or I go live. Thanks. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Chameleon MCOM2. This is an amateur radio antenna that will work on the HF bands. It will go all the way from 160 meters down to six meters, so you pretty much get all of the HF bands with this antenna. Now it is designed to be a portable or permanent installation as it is completely waterless, sealed up, and it takes anywhere from 250 watts output for CW up to 500 watts output in single sideband. I have used this for digital modes like JSA Call, WSJTX, and WinLink. Now the kit is very simple. It's just the matching unit, this transformer, and 60 odd feet of wire that comes on a wire winder with insulation standouts for doing sloper configurations and other things of getting the wire high up into a tree or on a mast and then stretching it out. Uh, this works both in an invis near vertical incident sky wave where you try and get the line, the wire as close to the ground or under one quarter wavelength of the band you're operating on. And it also works, as I mentioned, up in the trees. Now, 60 odd feet of wire means that it is not going to be an NFED half wave on 160 meters or 80 meters for that matter. So this does require a tuner for use, particularly on those lower bands where the SWR really doesn't get below four uh, to three SWR at any one time. I've found that the tuner that is on the 7300, the, the ICOM 7300 is about all you need. You need about a three to one tuner. So this isn't a nine to one unun type situation where you need a nine to one tuner or better to make it usable to bring that SWR down to get you the match you need to run this antenna. If you remember from the factory tour that I did at Chameleon Antennas, at least where some of the products are manufactured, uh, this is actually sealed, waterproofed. It's one entire unit. It can sit out in the rain. It doesn't have any problem so long as you do a coax seal job on your connection. It has a top mount wing nut for connecting your radiating element to that comes in the kit. And it has a lug if you wanted to attach a uh, counterpoise or a radial off the bottom. It's not required, but I've found that it is often good practice to add a counterpoise if you wanna keep RF from getting into the shack. If you are possibly looking for an antenna that you can use with your base station HF radio that has an internal tuner, this would be a good item to consider. It retails for $125 and is available at Ham Radio Outlet. Gigaparts, all the major companies have it, and of course you can buy it directly from Chameleon as well. The kit is light. This is a couple pounds and the wire weighs less than that. It's easy to get up into a tree and the wire slides really easily across branches. I was able to use this really successfully just coming from my backyard. I have a very small lot to remind people and I have a kind of a funky layout where I kind of go back and forth a bit with the wire. And I was able to talk to a station in Iowa that heard yeah, Kilo India 6, November, is it November Alpha Zulu or Echo Zulu? All right, there we go. Hopefully uh, hopefully it works. Name here is Tim Tango India Mike, QTH is Robbins, Iowa, little town of Robbins. I'll give you a report on the over. KI6, November Alpha Zulu from Whiskey Zero, Yankee Victor, over. Well, you're a 5 and 5 on the S meter, um, but you're Q5. Um, you know, I mean, the band is definitely on its way out, or at least, at least I think so. But, um, well, what's the transceiver? Is it just 100 watts? Uh, that's correct. That's correct. It's an ICOM 7300. It also worked perfectly well when I was doing WinLink to pick up my new me emails that I had received through that system. Oh, yeah, baby. Completely flat SWR at 35 percent. I am running this lower power and we are getting a great copy. Great signal today. So yeah, here we go, we are transmitting. 
Right on. Oh, I should be able to wrap this up fast. I always like it when you find a, a good... Um, oh, and I've got the wrong AGC on. Look at that. There we go. We do... I'm going to close the... Tighten up the filtering a little bit. That's... I don't know why. I've got to sort that out. The filtering for Vara is 2400 kilohertz, and I generally have it set to that, but for some reason it was a little little wonky. You got it sorted out, though. Look at that. That's great. You know, just touching... Just licking the ALC a little bit. <laughs> don't lick your ALC. And your SWR is totally, completely flat on this. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're killing it right now. Okay, completed. Now my home setup is just a simple hook that I have mounted to a board, which I have lag bolted into some cinder blocks and this just hangs uh, against the hook like that. And I have this going directly to a ground spike that's about a foot from the antenna feed point. For me, that's worked very well in keeping the RF out of the shack when using this, particularly on the lower bands. And I generally will get down to 80 meters with this. I haven't tried it on 160. But 80 meters and up, the SWR only gets better as you go up from my experience. So again, simple antenna, simple to set up. Just mount it wherever you want. Again, it is waterproof. Just get it off the ground a little bit. If you wanted to do a full sloper configuration, what that is, is you get this feed point or the transformer high up at the top of where your mount point is going to be, maybe the top of a tree or the top of a tall mast. Your feed line goes directly to it, and then your radiating wire comes out and kind of gradually goes back down to ground, um, isolated from the ground, though, when you get it to the end. And that's all there is to it to run this, and you get relatively an omnidirectional pattern, although it will favor uh, some directionality in the direction that the wire is heading. Now, if you are so inclined, Chameleon has a couple of different options for wire antennas. This is the portable slash permanent option. It's kind of also the entry point in their wire uh, antennas that they have on the market. They have a fully portable unit, which has the transformer connected directly to a wire winder that includes both a radiating element and a radial. That's called the MCOM-3 portable. And there's also the MCOM-3 base. And that's considered a permanent installation antenna that you would set up at your home. The box is a bit bigger. Uh, what's inside is a bit beefier. And then they also have a sky loop as well that you can check out. And that's for people that got a lot of land uh, that they can set up something like that. And, you know, these all work very well. I've tested most of them except for the sky loop. I don't have space to put up uh, that big of an antenna, but that is on my list to do at some point. I need to give Leia more land, though, to make that happen. So if you're interested in winning one of these, we're doing just a free giveaway. There is a link in the description to a Google Forms. Just fill out the forms, be a subscriber to this YouTube channel, and if you could, go subscribe to our podcast, the Ham Radio Crash Course podcast that I record with my wife, Leah, who just recently got licensed. Congratulations to her. Thank you so much for uh, going through that, honey. I do appreciate it. So my parting words with this antenna is it is a simple antenna to use. It is simple to set up. It is simple to operate. It works off of the internal tuner that is in most base stations, base stations that you may be taking out into the field, either in a go box if you had some kind of a rig like that. And this is an easy thing to pack into said go box along with its wire and its coax feed. Get it up into a tree and you're running. Okay, well, those were just my thoughts on the Chameleon MCOM 2. Again, it is an entry-level antenna. It's, it's not very expensive, $125 for the full kit. Just bring your own coax, bring your own radio, and you'll be up on the air easily and having fun with ham radio. And again, thanks everybody for watching. I am Josh KI6NAZ. Please click that thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And again, check out the link in the description to the giveaway for these. Again, we're giving away two of them because I'm keeping one. It's going to go in a uh, go box type thing that I'm working on. And this is going to be a good antenna for that. Okay, until I talk to you again, 73.